is out here catfishing her sibling. What on God's green earth? Hi, and welcome to my very awkward intro. My name is Susan slash Bambi, and this is Bambi's Rambles. How are you, friends? Are you good? That's good, and if you're not good, that's okay too. Today's video, we're comfy, we're cozy, we're chilling, because we are literally just doing a another creep show art video and um, this creepy show keeps getting creepier what we're going to talk about today is a couple of things and the most pressing thing that i want to talk about is actually the fact that the sibling that was doxxed by shannon in her lol cow um posts has actually come forward on twitter they are they go by the pronouns they, them, and I will stick to those the best I can. If I slip up, I truly apologize. Um, and they have allowed people to ask them questions on Twitter. And I'm going to read those um, questions and responses. And I'm also going to talk about <clears throat> in a deleted video that Shannon did called um, My Relationship vs. SJW Twitter and she refers to a person named Orange and we will get into that more in a minute because that makes more sense once you hear about these tweets. Now if my head is this way I hope my highlight looks good but I am going to be reading these now. The first tweet was, hey folks, I am indeed Creepshow Art's sibling. I am aware that she doxxed me on LolCal when I was hospitalized in March. I have no doubt that Shannon was the one who doxxed me. I don't think any, I have anything new to contribute to this mess besides solidarity, cannot say that word, with those who have been harassed and abused by Shannon slash Anthony. I will be only public for today and likely will not allow folks I don't know to keep following me, but I am here if folks have any questions. People have taken, her, taken them up on this offer and have asked questions. So a question here is, what made you decide to go public today for this Twitter? for this Twitter AMA. I've been getting lots of follower requests and messages for the past two weeks. Want, wanted requests and messages for the past two weeks. Wanted to do this as a way to speak up on some of the stuff I feel, to speak up on some of the stuff in a way that feels more accessible for me and be done with it. Next question. Do you ever, did you ever witness any obsessive behavior from Shannon towards Emily and or other women? Do you think this could be, could be in her character for her? I respect if this question is too personal and you may not want to answer as you are also trying to juggle your relationship with her. Yes, I have caught Shannon harassing who I now know is Emily on multiple accounts. I remember doing being deeply troubled by this behavior and telling her as mu as much at the time and as i have been the point of her obsession over years i do think this is a part of her character yes but in regards to the reddit post can you elaborate can you corroborate on your relationship with whom shannon said your sib said was your dead brother S some say it was a sibling-like relationship instead she does go on to say that it was Bobby. Bobby was a cousin of theirs that lived with them for some time whilst growing up. Bobby was our cousin who lived with us for some time growing up. He was very much like a brother to us. From what I recall, Shannon began referring to him as a brother after he passed. That part of her Reddit post is based on a real loss, at least from my perspective. Any truth to what she claimed about what you said about him? If you'd rather not answer, I completely understand. That I thought was that he was jealous of me and better off dead. That part of the Reddit post was the most shocking to me because it's far from the truth. I love and miss Bobby deeply and wish he was alive. 
question is how much of this behavior do you feel stems from her relationship do you feel like he had a hand in this finally is there anything the community can do as a whole for you in aid in an aid toward moving positively out of this whole thing in other words how can we help her sibling went on to reply hard for me to answer because I just don't know what behavior stems from what from another person. Even though she is my sister, to me, it is clear that separately and together, Shannon and Anthony's behaviors have caused tremendous damage and that is enough. Thank you so much for giving us this, op giving us this opportunity to ask questions. Did did Shannon ever display any ongoing obsessive or jealous behavior to anyone before Emily Artful? You don't have to answer if someone has answered this already. Now, they replied, to be honest, Shannon and I were not close until the ages of 17 to 18. So I'm not sure, but I think there wasn't that much technology around for things to escalate to the point where they have with Sh with with Shannon's abuse towards Emily. Now, next one. Sorry if this is too personal. No need to reply if so. I'm just wondering if your parents know anything about this and how do they feel about it? I know that Shannon said in your post, in a post, your relationship with them is strained. So if that is the case, feel free to not reply. I hope you're okay. They went on to reply. I know my parents should know about the harassment I have received and discovered about Shannon harassing Emily. At the time, I just said she's an ex of Anthony's. Since I told them about it in a voice memo emailed in 2018, I have no idea how my parents feel about it though. Next one. Number one, what made Shannon like this? Or, or has she always been like this? Number two, is there any truth to Amy slash the AOL friend story? Number three, she purposely hurt many people with exposed videos. Has she always, has she always used mutual hatred to bond with friends as someone who is close to her? I'd love to hear your insight on what motivates people like her who's so deep and interested in cancel culture, feel free to ignore if I'm prying, but I'm trying to understand, understand this woman for a long time. And since you've had given us the opportunity, I would like to ask. So her sibling went on to ask number one. Oof, big question. I, I think only a good therapist and Shannon can figure that out. Number two, I do not believe that Amy existed at all. Amy was never mentioned before when Shannon and I were, were close. And if she did exist, Shannon never told me about a stalker of hers who was obsessed with me. And they're so interesting. So, so, so interesting. Now, their sibling went on, went on to answer a few more questions, such as, if you were ever to speculate, what do you think Shannon might do in response to all of this? Will she come back and take accountability or try to come up with more excuses or try to keep up this disappearing act in indefinitely? Thank you for taking questions. I can't imagine how hard this is. Her sibling went on to state, I would be present, pleasantly surprised if Shannon was to come back and take any accountability. I can't speculate on what she will do because I haven't been able to make sense of her actions for a long time. I do doubt I do doubt if she'll ever fully admit to everything since since especially since it incriminates her. This is the last one that I'm going to answer here and it ties into what I was saying before about orange. I'll delete my comment if you need me to, but did you see the screenshots of Shannon's accusations to you? I won't go into detail about what she allegedly wrote about you, but it's emoji. Again, please let me know if you'd not like if you would not like to answer this question. Now she goes on to say, I may have seen them already. If they are on the Reddit post 
on the Reddit post and YouTube and the YouTube video she made about orange. I am well aware of those comments. Now here we go into orange. Someone someone goes on to say, was it your take on Shannon's husband? Are they actually married? Do you think he's capable of hurting her because of this situation? Shannon wasn't wrong when I called Anthony abusive back in 2015. I stand by that. I think they are married and are both clearly very capable of harm. I can't speak to how this situation is playing out interpersonally between them. I just think they know they've been caught. <clears throat> now, they do confirm, as I've said before in other questions that they've answered, they do confirm that she has caught, they have caught Shannon in this internet inappropriate behavior towards Emily Artful. So we do have another backup for that, okay? Now, when she talks about that she did call she did call Anthony abusive back in 2015. That's when we get to a video. That is where we get back to the point of orange. Now, in a deleted video called He abused me. SJW versus my relationship story time. This video is now deleted, but she talks about, now I have got a Google Doc of videos, so I have watched this video more than once. In this video, she talks about someone that she's very, very close with. They call, She calls them Orange. Orange is her friend. They're very close, but Orange is what Shannon calls um, a man hater, hates men, all about it, right? Hates men, hates them with a passion, and... You know, she talks about her, how her and her boyfriend, um, who is Anthony, um, break up time to time. She says that it's never from cheating. It's never from abuse. It's never from anything bad. They literally just break up due to stress and being young. Okay. And Orange would lose it, apparently. Orange would lose it and say, I can't believe you're dating him. He's trash. He's this, he's that. Um, and, you know... Orange would try and be there for her during these times and she would love the fact that they would that they would bring her burritos and try and be there for her but once they started talking shit about her boyfriend who wasn't her boyfriend but she loved deeply and knew they would get back together she would get very angry so apparently there was some sort of altercation between her and Orange during a breakup and Orange then went on to uh, Twitter and people started messaging Shannon saying, are you okay? What is wrong? Are you okay? She's like, I don't know what you're talking about. She's like, well, Orange is posting all this stuff. And Shannon's like, well, I haven't been tagged in any of this. What is she talking about? What are they talking about? And she would go and check the, the tweets and see that she was subtweeting her, subtweeting about her saying that, that she's in an abusive relationship, he's manipulative, he's all these sorts of things, which are a lot of things that we're hearing about subliminally, I can't say that word, in Shannon's deleted videos and some on her channel, which I can do a whole fucking deep dive on those alone that show that even she knows that she has to justify some of her partner's um, some of her partner's behaviors and their relationship dynamics. Okay? Now we, once we move past that a little bit, she goes on to basically mock the idea that Orange actually cares about her. And so as you were saying about Orange, so Orange is someone that she talks about in this, in this video, this deleted video now, that went on Twitter, said all this stuff about her boyfriend that she perceives was just fake, bullshit, jealousy, because she hates men. Now, if we put everything together, if we put absolutely everything together, especially some of the comments she's made about her partner herself indirectly, then we can actually come to the conclusion that he is actually heavily, heavily abusive. Um, don't sue me. Don't come for me. Don't murder me. Please don't. Um, heavily, heavily abusive. I mean, and... 
for her for her to feel as though like when she comes out with certain videos like this or certain situations where she like tries to justify certain things it is literally to bounce off bounce it off her so she knows that no, 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 I'm not in an abusive relationship. She is in an abusive relationship. He is an abusive man. But you know what? Shannon is on the same level. Yeah? You know, it's like toxic meets toxic. It's like um, Fred and Rosemary West. They were both fucked up on their own. You put them together. Did you hear my stomach? Oh, my God. <laughs> you put them together and what do you get? Get a murder house. Now, I I feel like I feel like I don't. I'm not entirely sure what what the what the outcome of this is going to be. I mean, I I, I want to go through a whole bunch of like all these like um, reply videos that everyone has done. Um, you know, I'm I, I'm not entirely sick of making Shannon content. Because I'm not, I find it incredibly interesting, but I just don't want to overwhelm my subscribers by saying, this is the only thing I can come up with. <laughs> you know what I mean? But there's like, you know, Repzilla's come out with his video, Tamimi's come out with her video, um, Ashley came out with her video, um, Ready to Glare came out with her video. I know, like, there's, there's so much coming out. There is Kevin that has come out on Twitter, and I had the idea that maybe the video that she made about um, Frederick and Veronica was her little twist play on um, a fake fucking storyline to do with, with Kevin and their ex-partner um it's just fucking bananas mate it is bananas her sibling has come out and they have stated all these things answered a hell of a lot of questions i'm guessing that there'll be a lot more that comes out um, shannon does know that their sibling goes by them they pronouns um because she did she did contact them and say you know, how are you or something like that when they were talking about how they were misgendered in 2019. So when being exposed slash doxxed on LOLCAL, they were intentionally misgendered. It goes on to say that as well as a few other questionable things. Also, they've stated here that they were I do not know if Shannon was informed by this, but I do know that she called me one day relentlessly. So I eventually picked up the phone, but did not talk to her. I made a point earlier this year not to engage with her after she catfished me and a friend by posing as a black non-binary person. She is out here catfishing her sibling. What on God's green earth is going on? This video might have been a hell of a lot of rambling and stuff because I kind of just, I wanted to share my fucking poof with the rest of you because I'm just like, what, what the fuck, Shannon? Frode, Frode. Fred and Rosemary West. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I am telling you, I am telling you, that is bananas, friends. That is bananas. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. This was just a whole fucking jumble, sh fucking shit show because I was just like, I just want to talk about it because... I don't want to do no fancy editing and fucking come up in here like I, I know how to read and shit because I don't. I just wanted to talk about it because. But anyway, if you want more shadow and fucking content, I can because I have got my hands on a Google Doc. And now this Google Doc, I have been digging through this Google Doc, watching these videos, taking notes. These are all deleted Shannon videos.
There are some fucking nuggets in here, my friends. And I just didn't know whether anyone wanted to see any more content about it. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, send a pigeon, keep the same energy. Don't mock my hair. No, I'm kidding. I love you all so much. Have a beautiful day. Bye!